Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today, I'm gonna to show you what I think the best dual brew coffee maker is. So I'm starting off down in the basement. I didn't wanna drag all these upstairs because I'm gonna eliminate a bunch of them right away. So we've got the Hamilton Beach Flex Brews, we got the Cuisinart Brew Centers, we got three Ninja Dual Brew Coffee Makers, and we got three Keurig K Duos. So in this video, I show you which one makes the best pot of coffee and a K-cup. First, let's start off down at the lower end of the spectrum. Hamilton Beach makes two Flex Brews. This is their older one and their newer one. I, I'm gonna take the newer one upstairs. I still recommend the newer one. It's around $100. Well, it's actually around $80 now. Model number on it is 49976. Now over to the Cuisinarts. This is the Cuisinart Brew Center. This is the SS15 and this is the SS12. This one's cheaper and newer, but I recommend this one. So I'm gonna bring this one upstairs and we're gonna take a look at it. Next, I've got the Ninja Dual Brews and this is the Dual Brew Pro. So they've released a bunch of these Dual Brews lately. I've got three of them. They're all around the 200 price mark. You can get the Ninja Dual Brew CFP 201 for around 170. This is the CFP 300. They're selling at Walmart for around 170. It's on sale. And this is the CFP 301 Dual Brew Pro, which is around $200. I'm gonna show you, so I think the Dual Brew Pro is the one out of all three of these. It's more expensive, but you do get a little bit more options from it. It has the hot water dispenser. If you don't want the hot water dispenser, then the CFP 300 has exactly the same thing everything the, the Pro has, except without the separate hot water dispenser. Next, let's get over to the Keurig machines. Here we've got the Keurig K-Dual Essentials. This is on sale now at Walmart for $80. It's kind of their entry level baseline for the K-Duos. Here we have the K-Duo, it's just K-Duo. A little bit fancier, I can program it. A little easier access for the coffee maker side. It's on sale right now for $100. Normally it retails for about $150. Next, we've got the K-Duo Plus. Really love this coffee maker. So out of the three of these, this one's $200 though, but it, I do really like it. Even though with this one on sale, for $100, it's got a glass carafe and it's a little big. The water tank is a little awkward. Even at that price point, I still recommend the K-Duo Plus. So I'll be bringing the K-Duo Plus upstairs. So a lot of people have been asking me, where do I keep my coffee makers? Well, underneath the stairwell, I had to make some shell. I just bought some shelving units and I'm keeping them on these shelving units. And I also took over the ping pong table. So we haven't been able to play ping pong for a while because I've got a lot of coffee makers and a lot of stuff I'm doing down here. Okay, so I brought them upstairs so we can take a closer look at them. Hamilton Beach Flex Brew, $90, model number 49976. Cuisinart Brew Center, model SS-15, comes in several different colors. We've got the brand new Ninja Dual Brew Pro CFP 301. And then the Keurig K-Duo Plus. And the Ninja Dual Brew Pro is around, it can be, it's around $200 on sale, but normally around $220. Same with the K-Duo K Plus, normally around $200. I have seen it around $220 sometimes. So here we have kind of the lower end, maybe the middle end, and this is kind of the Ninja and the, and the Keurig are the upper end. So here we have the Hamilton Beach, very basic, very, just a standard coffee maker on this side. Standard Hamilton Beach craft, 12 cups. It's got a warming plate. It does a K-cup. It's got its own way of doing a K-cup. You put the K-cup here, it pierces it, and then you can do a single brew right there, and that'll brew here. You put the water back here. It brews whatever amount of water you put in. So if you want eight ounces, you gotta put eight ounces in, hit the brew button, and it'll brew the eight ounces through. Here we've got Cuisinart's version. So very stylish. I do like it, and they've got several, they got about five or six different colors out now. The colors tend to run a little bit more. This is around 180 right now. It's been maintaining. It's got a standard Cuisinart coffee maker cone shape with a cone filter on this side. You can put a water filter in. It comes with a water filter. You can change the craft temperature. You can do a bold brew on the coffee maker side. Over here, we've got a K-cup side. You've got six, eight, 10, and it has a water reservoir on the back that holds the water just for the K-cup side. So I really like that. Very stylish, very basic in some aspects. You can program it to have the coffee maker, have a full pot of coffee in the morning. Okay, so now let's get to the higher end. So before the Ninja came out, my top favorite was the K-Duo Plus. 
Really like this coffee maker. Um, you do the K-cups back here, which is a little hidden, which helps with space. It has a 12-cup carafe, which I really like. It does not have a warming plate, so when you want to do a K-cup, you got to put your cup down here and take the carafe out. But the K-cup comes out in a different spot than where the coffee comes out. Here's where the coffee is. This is very nicely built. It's got programmable, it's got a clock. You can do different size K-cups, different size pots. Love the water reservoir. So for a water reservoir, they just don't get any better than this. Nice big handle, sits flush, easy to fill up. I like that it's removable, you can clean it, and easy to put back on. So now Ninja came out with the Dual Brew Pro. Really love it. It's got a removable reservoir over here. I can also move this water reservoir to the back of the machine. And I can set it around there so it gives it a different look. It's got a glass craft. They also have a model, the 305, CFP 305, that has a stainless steel craft with no warming plate. But it does cost about $250. Really nice display. It's got this Ninja, it's got this K, this Ninja pot adapter. So we can put a cake up here. It's got a different design. So you, I, don't I don't see a reusable cake up for this yet. I'm sure somebody will make one. But right now there's no reusable cake up for it. With the Keurig, you can definitely use a reusable K-cup. But we take this pot adapter out. We've got their standard, this is like their standard cone number four, cone filter. We put our filter in here and our coffee grounds. Then we slide this. This is the brew head now for the coffee grounds. And then the coffee comes out. It also has a built-in frother. You've got to heat the milk up externally, but you can froth the milk with this push button here. It froths it really like that. It's got a built-in scoop. You've got this water dispenser now. So when I turn this to the water drop, the display changes to hot water and the hot water comes out a different port. So if you see right here, when you've got hot water selected, hot water comes out here. Those other models don't have this. So the CFP 300 does not have this port. It does not do hot water. So space saving and, and look wise, I still kind of prefer the Keurig, but the Ninja has so many much, so much more options for about the same price. Okay, so I've got them both plugged in. This is more of a top control. This is a front control. Now the biggest difference, options. The Ninja gives you several different brew options. So when you wanna do coffee, that's the big thing. I've got all these different sizes coffees. I can, I can brew into a, um, into a cup with this little platform here. I can brew, I can put coffee in here and brew into a travel mug, all different size travel mugs, all the way up to a full craft. Over here, you're limited a little bit. So if I press the craft button, it's either six cups, eight cups, 10 cups, or 12 cups. Six cups is the smallest brew that this can do. That can be a problem sometimes. There's just so many different options and brew styles. I've got classic, rich, over ice, and specialty. Here, I can only do a strong brew. On the coffee maker i can also do it on the k-cup so with the k-cup i'm limited to 6 8 10 and 12 ounce over here my smallest is 6 8 10 12 but i can do a specialty brew which is four ounce which mimics kind of like an espresso shot using a k-cup and then on the ninja when i turn this selector to the hot water you'll see the display changes to a hot water display and now I can pick two different types of water. I can do hot water or boil, and I can pick all these different sizes for hot water. Size-wise, they're both coming in about the same height with the lid open for the K-Cup. So Ninja has really upped the game with this Dual Brew Pro. I think they're going to sell a lot of these. People have been asking me how long they can, are they going to last. I've not had a problem with the old Ninja coffee makers. Um, I don't anticipate a problem with this. They do seem well made. It doesn't seem uh, cheaply made. I've got detailed reviews on all of these coffee makers. I also show you how to descale each and every one of them. And I've got iced coffee on certain ones of them. So for under $100, there's nothing wrong with the Hamilton Beach. This is again, this is kind of like the middle of the road. The Cuisinart looks really nice, very functional. The higher end, you do get a lot more options, which can be a more complicated, but you do get a lot more options and they do kind of look and take up a little bit less space. 
I also did a video on what are my four top Keurig machines. So if you just want to do K-cups, I also show you what's the top four Keurig machines that I like. Again, I kind of go from the low to the high end and it kind of in the middle range. I also show my four top favorite coffees. So I show you what I like to drink coffee the most. I'm more of a medium roast person. So again, I'm not a coffee taste expert by no means, but I show you what I like for coffee. I also show you my four or five best um, iced coffee makers. So in that video, I think you'll be really surprised what I think makes, makes the best iced coffee. Again, I'll put a link to all these in my show description notes. I've got videos, how to's, how to set them up for the first time, how to brew coffee, and also put a link to them to Amazon. So I am an Amazon affiliate. If you click on the link, the products don't cost you anymore, but I do get a little bit of money from those clicks. I buy all my own products with my own money. So it's a way of supporting my channel. Thanks everybody for your support. If you got any questions on any of these or future videos, leave them in the comments down below. I check my comments on a daily basis. If I don't get to it on a daily, I at least try to get to it every second or third day if I get busy. So thanks everybody for your support. I really appreciate everybody's help. This video is from several people asking me, what do you like? What's your favorite coffee maker? I also do a video on my favorite, the four best coffee makers I have. So from the Mocha Master all the way down to a Mr. Coffee, I show you what I like for a coffee maker. So this video was mainly just from viewers that asked this question. I do reply to them what I think, but the reply can be kind of long, so I thought I would do a video. Thanks everybody for watching, and I really appreciate everybody's support.